The Promised Land is a, a photo exhibition that focuses on the migration of the Black experience. I've invited 11 artists um, from Chicago, um, but also from cities who participated or were involved in the Great Migration to kind of revision their own migration story. We're standing in um, a particular historical site, um, which we are technically a landmark, but also this room in particular features kind of our famous Bauhaus um, walls, which are wooden walls, um, which feature a lot of holes, a lot of nail holes, which tell the story of our history and how many of artists have shown or how many artists and musicians have came through our space. And it wasn't like an exact moment. Um, it wasn't like I went to school for this um, in particular, though I've had some kind of training um, on the matter, but curating has always been with me. Um, but I think that becomes of my joy of, um, of objects and collecting. Um, it's something I was well-versed on doing. And so I took it upon myself to kind of step up into that role and kind of become um, an important force within the center. This is a piece by Shabazz Jamal. Um, he is a St. Louis, Missouri native. Um, his work is dealing also with the family archive and able to kind of interrogate political and social economic effects on black life. Um, through movement, he scans in his family archive and manipulates the scanning process. Um, and I like to think that the gaze isn't quite set on the subject, but in the ways that kind of encourage you to, to think outside the subject. He's a Chicago artist um, known for his very intense black and white photography. Um, he does a lot of portraiture. Um, this is a photo image that he took of his mother, which becomes timeless. Um, and it's interesting because it is set in our neighborhood of Bronzeville, um, which also adds another locational layer. I know he does a lot of his own printing. Um, fun fact, his mother um, is a relative of Margaret Burroughs. Um, Margaret Burroughs, in which the gallery is named out of, and also Margaret Burroughs, in which becomes one of the artists, or who is one of the artists who is noted for founding the, the Southside Community Arts Center. Um, there's Lawrence A.G. here um, with more of his colorful portraiture. Um, you would see him kind of depicting an African cowboy. Um, Lawrence is from Ghana, and so a lot of people ask why I decide to add him to this show about migration. I think most people think it's about a show about the Great Migration, and it's more so a show about the many migrations that um, black life has experienced throughout the years. Um, an artist here, Anolika Anikbu, who is doing some experimenting with photo and photographing on fabric. Um, I believe this is screen printed on silk. Um, they also add in cotton and indigo in their processes, um, thinking about West African practices of craft, art, um, and kind of integrating that into their photo practice, which I think is very interesting and daring. Um, and it's very soft. It adds an element of delicacy to this exhibition, um, this floor as a whole is very poetic. Um, a lot of the work becomes very emotional um, and very moody in a way.